안녕하세요. So this is the sixth video that BTS has dropped for their new album. These boys are keeping us fed. But uh, still, at the same time, it's like, <laughs> am I greedy and saying I would still want more? Feed me more! Because I do. I'm ready for this. It's been a few days since this has dropped. Um, I've already listened to the uh, and reacted to the orchestral version and to the lyrics version. So I know what the song is about. Uh, the video, I'm assuming at this point, is sort of just a, uh, a visual representation of the Jungian theory. Or Jungian? I don't know how to say that word. Somebody tell me. So if you guys haven't found out already, uh, I did react to the full album. It's on my Patreon. I will link it in the description below. It's only a dollar to get in on there. Uh, I'll be adding more tiers later this month, but for now, a dollar gets you... You get to see my full reaction for this video if you want. Uh, same with the Dreamcatcher uh, album that just came out. I feel so special, like, being here. Like, being part of the army, like, right as this is going on. And I know that there, at least some of them are planning on going to the military soon, and we're going to be missing some of them. And that's going to suck, but, like, I feel like really... I don't know, like, I got in just in the nick of time before stuff started to separate a little bit. Those notes are just like music to my ears now. Which it, it actually is music to my ears. So that's ignore me. Okay, I like the whole white outfit inside of the darkness. It's already kind of starting with the, the metaphorical shadows. Oh shit. Oh! Ooh. That was so cool. Oh my god, that's so cool. The way that the shadow is moving in the background and it's not like moving with him. I don't know, I really like that. That was a really cool transition, too. I feel like, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but they did that move on the Corden uh, performance also, right? Where they like kind of grabbed each other and spun around each other like that. And I think they transitioned into somebody else walking through in the background after that. But here they actually transitioned to a new, a totally new scene. Am I right about that? I think I am. Also, obligatory RM has the best hair in K-pop comment. I think they're in, like, this place looks really familiar to me. Hey, Jimin doing his contemporary modern dance thing. Are they in the LA theater or the LA amphitheater, I think it's called? It looks really familiar. I've seen it used a lot in uh, other TV shows and movies. So they have like the black version of their outfit where they're in the light and the white version of their outfit when they're in the dark. They're really representing this black swan concept beautifully through this. J-Hope. Cass? Cassio, is that you? I love when they do like the the partnerships like this, like when they just put like two of them together and dance together. Jin's always got perfect hair, so... Dude, look at Jimin go crazy! Ah, that was like my favorite part in the in the performance, live performance. Oh, shit! Whoa! 
did he just what was that move <laughs> that was nuts okay let's just watch the whole part again Jim and dancing is just like it's crazy I never thought I would care about dancing as much as I do now but like now that I'm watching k-pop videos like I, I can't help but notice it all the time and when he does his like little solo thing he dances way differently like his style is differently than most of the people that I watch dance in k-pop but God, it looks so cool. It's so smooth, and but it's also got like a, a sense of chaos and desperation to it. He always seems like he's trying to get out of something or go towards something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this kick move that's coming up here. <laughs> what is that? That's nasty. I really feel like their dances are so well representative of what they're singing about. Just even like the idea of the swan, you know? Just the way that they move, like, gracefully. Like they have wings, except for Jimin who actually has wings. We already knew he was an angel though, right? Dude, beautifully shot. Ooh. Ooh. What does it mean? What does it mean? <laughs> I don't know. That was fantastic. You know, it's funny. There's not a lot of groups or artists, musical artists in general, that I would watch the same song. Stop doing things, please. Where I would watch the same song, like, over and over again in different formats. It's like Skyrim. You guys ever play Skyrim? Much <laughs> If you don't know what Skyrim was, it was a video game that came out in 2011 by Bethesda Studios. And then instead of making a new version of it, they just kind of made like alterations of it going forward and kept making money off of it. Except they did this over the course of the last decade, while BTS is putting all this stuff out within like two weeks of each other. So uh, that's the difference between a greedy, money-hungry company versus actual artists that care about providing stuff for their fan base. I really love that they're doing that. I mean, you can't make a full-blown music video for every song on the album, so instead they're giving us, like, you know, the the on dance, what did they call it, the kinetic dance, some, something like that. And then they give us an actual music video for it, which was just nuts, by the way. I didn't understand anything that was happening in it. Um, and the same thing with Black Swan. They gave us the orchestral version video, and then they gave us this. Like, they're just providing us with so much to latch onto, you know? And it's perfect for somebody like me who, you know, I'm still baby army. Like, I, I don't really... The more they could give me on, on my first... The first time that I'm seeing one of their albums, the more that they could provide me, the more that I feel connected to them. And especially after listening to the full album, like, there was just, like, all these duets and, like, trios. And it just makes you feel like the bond between them is stronger, and then therefore it makes you feel like your bond with them is stronger also. Because it, it just makes them feel more like real people, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of the idols out there have this sense of, like, like they're you can't touch them. They're just, because idols, that's, you know, that's, that's where you get the name. And I know that people are saying, like, that people have said to me in the past, like, idol doesn't actually mean, like, idol, like how we think about it in uh, English. But at the same time, they could have used a different word. I do think that there's an element of, of them trying to stick into your mind that they are just a tad out of reach from the normal person. But with BTS, the guys, they feel really like... I don't know, like, I feel like I could talk to them. I feel like I could have conversations with them, which is... I can't say for the majority of the idols out there. I'm wondering what their next video is going to be. I don't know if they've announced it. If they have, I haven't heard about it yet. I was talking to one of my friends, and so this is the sixth thing that they've dropped. The sixth, like, video that they've dropped for this album. And... There's seven members of the band, of the group, and it's Map of the Soul 7. So we were thinking, we were positing that there is probably going to be at least one more video that gets dropped. 
I was thinking probably louder than bombs. Personally, I think I would really like to see something for uh, We Are Bulletproof, which I actually uploaded the other day if you want to check out my reaction for that. Uh, that That's just one of my favorite songs on the album. Maybe my favorite song on the album. Uh, Ugg is my favorite song on the album, but maybe my favorite song with all of the members in it. I think Louder Than Bombs is probably the right one. Also with like all the sounds in the background, I think you can make a, a really cool visual representation of what you're hearing with that song also. I think Jimin stole the show on this video. BT Dubs, he did that. I'm not sure any of his moves in this one were as uh, affecting as... I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, alright guys, that was fun. Like, comment, and subscribe. Por favor. Annyeong.